Now we're going to factor by grouping a four-term polynomial, but there's a difference. And it's a very important difference, as you'll see. Okay, first, I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to combine the first two terms. And I'm going to combine the second two terms, but. Whenever you've got a minus in the middle, you change the middle sign behind it. This minus is going to have to become a plus. Now, now that I've done that, I'm going to uh, factor out the GCF of the first two terms and the second two terms, just like I did before. So here goes. Both of these terms contain a 7 and a z, because 14 is 7 times 2. So I pull out the 7 and the z, and what that leaves me with is z plus 2. As always, I don't trust myself that much, so I go ahead and I distribute the 7z to the z and to the 2. Now 7z times z is 7z squared, and 7z times 2 is 14z. So I factored the first set of parentheses correctly. Now I copy down the minus sign, and I look at each of these terms, and I can see immediately that they each contain an A. Now, A times Z is AZ. I have to remember that this is a plus now. And A times 2 is 2A. Two now, I happily notice that I have a Z plus 2 and a z plus 2, one on each side of this polynomial. The z plus 2 becomes the GCF. And then I write down the leftovers, 7z minus a. You only change this middle sign when you have a minus in the middle. If there were a plus sign there, then I wouldn't change the, the, uh, the sign in the middle of the second set of parentheses. Okay, now, as always, I'm going to check my work. I'm going to make sure that I factored correctly because I can always make a mistake. So I'm going to F plus O plus I plus L. Now, Z times 7Z is 7Z squared. Outside, Z times negative A is negative AZ. Inside, 2 times 7z is 14z. And last, 2 times minus a is negative 2a. And there are the plus signs in between. Now I can rearrange my terms as long as there are plus signs between them. So I'll have 7z squared plus 14z minus az minus 2a. 
And that is exactly what I started out with originally. So that means that my factorization was correct. 